Hey guys, what's up? Beast from Beast Toys here coming at you. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you want to check out more of my reviews. Hey, I've <clears throat> got a friend with me tonight too. Snowball. She's uh, just checking things out. She's she's usually not very nosy and doesn't come down in my basement very often. Um, but she's been a little more lately for some reason. So anyway, so King Grayskull. Not the $200 plus effect from the Attorney of Playset, but hey. King Gray Skull. Um, <laughs> this one was 14 bucks Amazon. So um, package is a little dinged up, but it doesn't matter because we're opening it, right? So, so King Gray Skull block the Batman block 89 Batman block lettering, as I always say. And here's the side artwork, as you can tell. I believe there's some creasing on that side, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's a little tear here. So. Unfortunately, it's a little banged up. Here is the back side of the box. I guess this is considered a deluxe pack. King Grayskull was in Revelations the first five episodes, I believe. I uh, can't remember. Oh, it's crazy. I watched it. Now I don't exactly remember. So, anyway, doesn't matter. So, we got King Grayskull to the cheaper effect. So, we're going to check it out. Um... Here he is again, everything he comes with. Cloth Goods Cape. I love Cloth Goods Capes. If you watch me and for any amount of time, I say it all the time. I love it. Love them, love them, love them. Love Cloth Goods Capes. I don't know why, I just do. I guess I don't like plastic capes. <clears throat> and, part, and part of that reason is they, over time, they will wear out. They will dry rot. They will rip. So there's, you know, multiple reasons to... Uh, appreciate and like uh, Kate, uh, cloth good capes. I feel like cloth good capes will last way longer. And that's my opinion, and I don't know. There's probably some science behind it to tell you that's probably true. At least, they may say depend on what kind of environment it's stored in over time as well. And I could see that. So. Um, yeah, this one's going to be pretty cool, though. Let me get him out here. Always loud and tricky. Because he, he's buckled in here by the little plastic things. Now my snowball, she's over there at the door. She's looking. She, it's funny, because she gets nosy and wants to poke. She wants to see what's in here. Because I, I keep this shut all the time. She's, she's around, so to speak. I have two other cats that if it's really cold out, I'll bring them in. So they were in a few weeks ago when it was really cold out. Otherwise, though, they, they're, they live outside. So... Have a biscuit, uh, poodle. What is he? Cockapoo, poodle, cockapoo. A friend of ours had got him, and uh, they already had a couple dogs in the house. They got him because somebody had dumped him, and she just said it was too much. So we got him, and he's a great dog, wonderful dog. Um, other than he chews up a little bit of stuff, he is a really good dog. All right, so we have different looks here. We have. Just a plain faced look, and oh, look on the back there. Kind of got him a He Man X. Uh, the two parts of the power sword, as you can see, if you can kind of stick them together, that's what they look like. I don't know that there's a way. I almost feel like there's supposed to be a way to hold them together, but I guess not. So he's got two of those. He comes with two sword hands right out of the chute, too. If you like his mean face, you can keep the mean face. Um, so this is pretty cool. I'm just trying to figure this out. This has a tag on it. It's weird. It's like a it's it's like a tag from a shirt, like the back of a shirt. It does have wiring, which is cool. So you can kind of you can blow this up if you want, like that. See what I mean? 
so they got it right. Um, and, and it's hard to say that very often. Uh, this is Velcroed. Uh, it Velcros to the back of his uh, armor piece here. So that's what keeps it on. I don't know if this is supposed to be a hood or some fluff, typical fluff for these. There's the X on the back of his head. So we could change the head and give him a simple look as the non-violent look, or you can give him the violent look. And I guess we'll stick with the the fighting look, we'll call it. So uh, checking appendages, knees, knee joints. That one's a little stiff. These are stiffer than normal, really. I don't typically notice that on these Masters figures very well, that, that they're not as stiff. There goes a hand just popped right off. That popped off pretty easy. I don't like that ever. I got it back on. So we can go with a part of a power sword here. The power sword of old. And we can go with shield you want to change his hand you absolutely positively can but you don't have to like I said we can we can tone that down we'll tuck that yeah we get that so we're gonna give you a look here in just a second I can change that shield hand but we're not going to right though right at the moment so here's here's your King Gray school look <laughs> gray skull look school gray school yeah let's go to gray school here's your king gray skull look so pretty cool um nothing loose here or here as i talk about sometimes um you can basically bend this bend the wiring which is nice i think I, I gotta say, I would worry that over time, if you bend it too high or too low, that you're gonna end up doing the typical. If you're gonna break a wire, you bend it, bend it back and forth until it snaps. You gotta. I would say you want to be a little careful with these over time. Um, don't don't twist it around too different, too many different times. I would say that's just me. I always worry about things tearing up. I like my things to be in great shape and and good. So, all right. So you get the here's the extra one half. Again, I could change his, his hand to a shield hand. He comes with a fist and then a separate head once again. Just a regular look, no mean look. Here he is. So there's your King Gray Skull uh, Master Verse Edition. Gonna stand him up right. We're gonna check his bio out. We're gonna call it good. So. Uh, he is a deluxe pack, I believe, is what we could call this. So it says, King Grayskull, heroic ancestor of He-Man. Since the dawn of Eternia, there has always been a hero to protect the planet's sacred magic. The first of those heroes and the first to hold the mantle of He-Man was King Grayskull. Grayskull. Hmm. Now resting alongside the other heroes in Preternia, King Grayskull holds the key for the adventures to return to Eternia and save the magic from vanishing into oblivion. There's a bunch of dudes in his wave too. You got the Savage He-Man and him, which those go close together because they were in similar ap or episodes right together, I believe, if I recall. Uh, and then you got Tila, Andra, Trapjaw, Motherboard Trapjaw, Merman, and uh, Stinkor. Got beat up Merman, Stinkor, so. All right, guys, there you have it. King Grayskull. It's a pretty cool figure. Goodbye for the price of what you're, what you're getting, I guess. I don't know. I guess you call it deluxe, but like I said, they got it right. This is one thing you Black Series fans, if you're a Black Series fan like me, you have several Black Series, you get lots of, you know, you got Vader with Cape. You may have some Jedi robes. Um, Mace, I think maybe Windu has some Jedi robes. Uh, just just off the top of my head, trying to think of guys that do. But anyway, you you Obi Wan, I believe you got guys that have been saying for a long time, and you can buy custom custom robes that have these metal wiring, so you can adjust that. So uh, that's the one thing I will say. Mattel got it right. It's smart of them to do it and keep on doing. It, is what I would say. 
Um, the Skeletor, the Savage Skeletor I had the other day, I think it was in one of my videos I compared him. Now, there is an older video of him. I should, not too much older, just a few, like a month ago maybe or so. But his cape has a plastic part and just puts over his, it clips over his head. Um, and then one of them got a magnetic part. It doesn't have the wiring, but has magnetic and holds on his back. I think it's Skelet, or my Skelet got it. just did that video the other day. So, again, things that they are getting right that I would say your Black Series and even possibly G.I. Joe is not. But uh, there's not a lot of cape figures in G.I. Joe, but just saying, uh, I know the El Cobra Commander and then the Snake, uh, Snake Supreme was one. And uh, Super 7 did the Cobra Commander, and theirs has magnetic so those are the, you know, that would be another way, and it's cloth goods, so that's a good thing to do. The Snake Supreme, I think, just kind of sits on, if I recall. Um, I don't know, it's weird. Mine's just, it's out in the hallway, and I put it up there not too long ago and on a new display, but I didn't pay much attention to it when I did it. So anyway, but I just want to brag on them for for doing that. That's a that's a very good thing to have with with your figure, so... All right, guys, that's it. That's King Grace Goal for you. Uh, not the, again, not the $200 plus version that just got mailed out with Eternia. The Revelation version. So, all right, guys, hey, give it a thumbs up if you like the review. And as always, uh, feel free to subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. And with King Grace Goal on Beast and Beast Toys. We'll see you.